Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be showing y'all how she makes her turkey today, her Thanksgiving turkey. And it's gonna be for our church dinner tomorrow. So we're having our Thanksgiving dinner at church tomorrow, so. And if Corey's better, he's got a little cold and everything, he might be going and filming it, but if not, he won't get to do it. But anyway, I fixed my turkey and my dressing the way that my mom used to always do it. So. She always took a turkey and, and washed it. And uh, real good. What is this oh. red thing on it? And uh, Milton went to Kroger's and got um, a turkey. And I have never seen turkeys fixed like this. They're bruised. And uh, Several places are bruised. Had a great old big long uh, neck skin hanging there, had to cut it off. Um, the wings look bruised. I've, I've never seen turkeys like this. They're always real nice, but I didn't like this one. But uh, anyway, that's what we got. I guess you just wash it off real good. Yeah, it's uh, the inwards is still frozen in there. So I thought I left it out to thaw out, but it didn't thaw out. So what I'm going to do, I've done it before when it's like that. I'm just going to put it in my pot, uh, turned on 250, watch it, and when it gets soft enough, I'm going to get all these inwards out. You know, because uh, I'm just going to wash it the best I can. And uh, it didn't thaw out like I wanted it to. And just cook it on real uh, low heat in my cooker. So, but, but I've never seen turkeys like this before. But that's what we got. So that's what we're going to have to go with. What is this red thing on that there? That pops up when it gets done. Yeah. So here we go to the cooker. Oh, the roasting pan. And I put it in here. I had mom's roasting pan, a real old roasting pan. And my daughter got me this for Christmas several years back. And so what I do, I have a little <coughs> bit of water in the bottom of this. I put uh, butter all over my turkey, round his legs, round his wings, in there. And most of the time I've had, had the inwards out, but they're not out this time. So you do what you have to do. And I, and I try to get the butter in everywhere. And I put two sticks of butter. I always use two sticks of butter on it. Buttered up real good. It's wings. That's the reason I'm wearing gloves. I'll put some down here. Now these turkeys now that you get, I don't know what it is, but they're they're not really, I don't like them. So, and the turkeys are so high, so I told them to get me the cheapest one they had. So that's, that's what it done, but I don't know. You know how things are anymore. Even your, your cleaning supplies, the stuff you clean your commodes with, your bathtubs with, ain't as strong as it used to be. Used to be, it'd be real easy to clean them, but it's not. And then after I get the butter on it, I salt it down real good. And then I put the pan on and I put it on 250. Where's 250 at? Right there? Yeah. I put it on 250, and then uh, probably about, what time is it? Five o'clock, six o'clock, what time is it over there? Five thirty. Then probably about 10 o'clock, I'll check it again and get them inwards out. And uh, probably turn it up a little bit higher. Sorry about that. Turn it up a little bit higher. Um, after I get all that out, I'll baste it a couple of times, you know, and then when I get up in the morning, I take my turkey out and then I make my dressing in this. I don't put my dressing in the oven. 
I'll, this is the way mom always does it. You know, and this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'll show you how she done it. Um, <coughs> all the stuff that she used to put in hers. The only thing different that I do than mom did was I like uh, stove top stuffing. So I put a box or two of that in there and then I tear my light bread up in there. And that's what mom always used was the bread. You know, whatever uh, bre old bread she had, to stale bread like that was getting old, she would use that and tear it up and put it in there. But I'll show you all this in the morning. Yeah, if y'all wanna see the her stuffing recipe, what she was just talking about, we'll have that video up tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, before we go to Sunday school. Uh, well, I'll record that for y'all later whenever we get up in the morning, her yeah. stuffing recipe, but that's how she makes her turkey. And today, today, Papa's gonna be ready. You wanna show your stuff first and let Papa read last? Yeah. yeah, I'll show the stuff. This is uh, somebody that sent the cooking stuff in the last video. The seasoning stuff. Yeah, the seasonings and the, the sea salt. All this stuff came from the same person, I think. Because they come in two separate boxes, so we didn't know it came from the same person. But it this actually, marked. yeah, it wasn't marked and it didn't have no name on it. Mm -hmm. I think it was like an Amazon package. But this actually came from the same person that sent all the ingredients and stuff yesterday Seasoning and in the last video. But here's... So that's a bunch of onion. Yeah, somebody said that in the comments. But here's a bunch of onion recipes, soup, and dip mix. Here's taco seasoning mix and cinnamon powder. And there was a bunch of taco seasoning mix in the last one too, but it's a different brand. So whoever sent this, <coughs> sorry for the coughing, you guys. I think I got a cold or something, or it's almost gone but i might be a little bit sick but i'll push on for you guys for the video but there's all the ingredients that somebody sent thank y'all so much for this whoever sent it we'll definitely be using it all we'll use it for sure yeah. and here's the taco seasoning. <laughs> yeah we use the taco all seasoning all the time but here's some cards that we got in the past couple weeks whenever i was gone we couldn't show them all in the one video or we don't have enough room here at the table to show all the stuff in one video so i spread it out into the last three or four videos but here <coughs> sorry again excuse me guys somebody sent the walmart card and it's got a picture of like a lighthouse and it said it's women something and it's got a personal letter here's a gift card it just says hi this is says, on your wedding day. So this was a wedding card. Whoever sent this stuff, thank you so much for the wedding card and for the Walmart gift card. It really means a lot to us, and we'll definitely use this, too. We'll probably be using this for more ingredients and stuff for my mom's recipes. And it says, special people like you, happy Thanksgiving. Thinking of you in a special way. So those are the cards that we got. <coughs> and this apron. Here's the apron that Mama got. Yep. It's got flowers all over it. Red flowers, orange flowers. Looks like the Pioneer Woman. I don't know. Design. Is it? I can't. Don't have my glasses on. Mm. No, it ain't, is it? I don't think so. Yeah. Must be something else, but it looks like her design. Yeah, but it's a nice apron. It's got pockets in the front. Yeah. <coughs> and I thank y'all. I love aprons. Uh, thank you so much to whoever sent that to. And someone in the comment wanted to know if I could fix short aprons for wheelchair people in wheelchairs. I think the ones that I make are short, but mine is not uh, professional. It's uh, just sewed together. No, no. But if y'all want one, I can send it to you. I sent two to one lady, and she liked them, but I wouldn't sell them. <laughs> gifts. Gifts. They would be gifts. Yeah. Send me the address, the woman that said she liked them. So for a wheelchair patient, and I'll, I'll send you some of them. But that's all the cards that we got for today. And there's my mom's apron. Thank y'all so much for that. Here's the P.O. box that y'all requested. If somebody wants to send something, we'll show it here on the table like this. And we'll show it using it in the video, and we'll show it in the video for y'all. And the PayPal is just for the people that's requested it. But y'all don't 
y'all shouldn't feel the need to send nothing. It's just in case y'all did want to. But you could pause it here or take a picture of it or whatever. Y'all could write it down or whatever y'all want to do. But Papa's going to read a little bit for y'all now. He's going to read a couple scriptures for y'all. Praise God. Thank God for... I'm going to be reading in Matthew, the 13th chapter, starting at the 47th verse. <clears throat> it's talking about Jesus and his brothers and sisters. Uh, so oh, that, wow. again, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew it to shore and sat down and, and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away so shall it be at the end of the world mm -hmm. the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth jesus said unto them have ye understood <coughs> all these things they say unto him yea lord then said he unto them Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasures things new and old. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence, and when he was come into his own country, he taught them in the synagogues, insomuch that that they were, were astonished and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these, these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James and Joas and Simon and Judas and his sisters? It means he had more than one. Yeah. Are they not all with us? Whence then? Hath this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, and in his own house. And they did not mean, and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Praise God! But uh, it's very important, you know, when you give your heart to God, ask Jesus into your heart. You have power in prayer. You can do all the things that Jesus did, yeah, but right. you, you have to believe. Mm -hmm. it, it comes along with believing. And he did not many mighty works because of their unbelief. You know, so when you know when you pray and the old devil say that that prayer ain't going nowhere, you just rebuke him and don't let it go nowhere. Say, you know, God I'm gonna have what I ask for. Jesus said, You pray and believe. And you receive what you ask for. You pray, ask, you pray to God and ask it in Jesus' name, and He will do it. Just to, to just to honor God, and Jesus will answer your prayer. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. And uh, we we have power in prayer, but we have to believe also. You know, all through the Bible, He asked people. You know, said, "What do you want?" And they told Him what you know what they needed. That I need, might receive my sight. Then he said, do you believe I can give this to you? And they said, yes. And he said, well, be it unto you as ye believe. And that's the way it is. You know, you, you ask and you believe, and God will answer your prayers. We serve an awesome God, and but it's very important that when we pray that we believe we're going to receive what we pray for. We, 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 we will receive it. Praise God. I love the Lord, honor the Lord, worship him. You know, and we're going to pray over the prayer book. And anybody has any uh, uh, prayer prayer needs, be sure and put it on put it on remarks, and, and Margaret will put it in the book. <coughs> and we pray over it every day, sometimes two or three times a day. Okay. Father God, ask you, Lord, to answer all these prayers, these requests, Lord. You know all things, God, yes, and, and we, we ask and we believe that we're going to have what we ask for. Yes, Lord. We believe that you're going to answer our prayers because we have repented and asked you into our heart. we servants of the Most High. And when we pray, we believe that God's going to do what we ask for. All these prayer requests, ask you, God, to answer them. 
whatever they might be, Lord, financial, health, mental, whatever. God, ain't nothing you can't do. That's we right, know you are mighty and you're awesome. We ask it in Jesus' name. And amen. 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 <clears throat> That's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for coughing a lot, but I at least pushed through for this video for y'all. But that's all for this one. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. God bless you.